Hello from Sensei Show. My name is Vicky Wong. I'm an applications engineer from Analog Devices. Today, I brought with me to this show a demo on how to measure photoelectric effect. Well, photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons when we shine a light on a photoemissive material. Right here, you see, we have a tungsten lamp. This is a light source. It goes through a rotating filter that filters out red, green, and blue light. These lights, they have different wavelengths associated with them and hence different energy level. For example, blue has the highest energy level among them three. This light then goes into this metal box and in this metal box is a phototube. That's the sensor we are using. This phototube converts light to current. So what we do is we apply a potential voltage across the cathode and the anode of the phototube. And the emitted electrons from the cathode then gets attracted towards the anode and this flow of electron is what we know as current. Current is then picked up and amplified by an electrometer grade amplifier which resides in this PCB right here. The kinetic energy of the emitted electrons depend on two things. First, the frequency of the light and second, the work function of the phototube. Well, what we do here in this demo is we vary the potential voltage across the phototube until we see zero electrons reaching the anode. And this means that the phototube is producing zero current. And this takes an electrometer grade amplifier to be able to accurately measure down to zero femtoamp. And with the information of the frequency of the light as well as the biasing voltage, we can then calculate what the work function of the phototube is. Well, in any low-level current measurement, any little DC error could degrade the measurement and make it inaccurate. And this is where ADI's electrometer grade amplifier comes into play. The amplifier we are using here is the ADA4530. It has ultra-low input bias current. And by ultra-low, I'm talking about 0.1 femtoamp, typical at room temp and that is equivalent to 624 electrons per second. Well, this amplifier also has an integrated high-performance guard buffer that drives the guard traces to minimize any input pin leakage on the PCB design. The concept of being able to measure ultra-low current using an electrometer grade amplifier is widely applicable in a lot of applications out there. For example, in the chemical analysis field. In application like mass spectrometer, an electrometer grid amplifier is absolutely required to measure ions of a particular mass to charge ratio of an unknown sample. And this helps to identify and determine the concentration of the ion, which in turn helps us identify what the unknown sample is. And so, for more information on this electrometer grid amplifier, please visit analog.com slash ADA4530. Thank you.